We are currently in a really, really brutal bear market and a lot of people are starting to panic. But one thing that I take comfort in is our current positions in Codal Minerals and Primary African Minerals. In this video today, we're gonna to have a roundup of both of those stocks and we're gonna talk about some lithium news. <laughs> What is the crack everyone? Welcome back to Buy Old Cell. I hope of course you're all well. It's been three months. I cannot believe it actually. I'm stunned. It's been three long months since I last did a Codal video. I've touched on them in some of my week ahead videos um, and obviously I've got my Discord which we've been flat out talking about it which we'll get into. Primary African Minerals, a bit more action with that. We've been, last video was a month ago so plenty to get through. You will notice people that have subscribed to the channel that I now have a green screen trying to level everything up. So I'm still finding my way with it, but bear with me. First thing I want to talk about is lithium. This has honestly surpassed any expectations that I had. We know about the demand. We know about every single bit of resource seems to be getting snapped up by China. We know the demand for EV cars has gone through the roof, but with a bear market incoming, the luxury cars, EV steps, people are going to be tighter on money. I really did anticipate a bit of a pullback. We've even seen inflation start to come back. The tightening by the Fed seems to be, well, reasonably working. There is pullbacks across the board. The price of commodities have came down, or oil, um, platinum, you know, different things that we have looked at on the channel. So it's surprising to me that lithium has continued to skyrocket, but that is brilliant because I had always anticipated from a top of high, a potential pullback of 20 to 30% uh, as a minimum, really. But the more we keep going up, that's still my expectation. So the more we go up, we're probably only going to get back to the levels that I originally thought three months ago was maybe going to be sort of the peak. So it's it's incredible. Um, and with that, obviously, our means all our resources in Coda and Prem, that lithium is worth so much more. Like we can even see here on the one month chart, the price of lithium is absolutely skyrocketed in the last day, just constantly going up, 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 up and away. So that is fantastic to see. And we're seeing news articles out there surging coal, lithium prices can't stem sell off in top 50 mining stocks. If we scroll down here, Nirvana Lithium, a doubling of lithium prices so far this year in China, doubling this year alone. It's, it's just crazy. This is not stopping. This skyrocket is going. It has to pull back eventually, but God knows when it will be. In the top 50, we have two new entrants bring in the number of lithium companies in the top 60 to 6. You can see here, you know, it's, it's even commenting, you know, Chinese stocks have suffered, the general market is suffering, but lithium continues to outperform. On the channel, we've been doing a lot of swing trading. We've been just pretty much shorting this whole market. And we'll kick off with Prem first because there's not much of an update, really. We've been just talking about it. It's been doing very, very well. We've been green. We took a wee bit of profit. We've been flat out chatting about Prem. You can see I was buying Prem on the 15th of September in around 0 0.35. I'm not going to read out everything that's in the Discord, but obviously feel free to enter the Discord if you wish. The links are down below, it's $3.99 a month. You'll get in access to all the different stocks, my buy alerts, my sell alerts, my general market thesis, the whole last Monday, me just selling everything because I anticipated the rest of the week to be red, which is exactly what happened. And I just done my week ahead video yesterday for anyone who wants to go in and watch that, the general market news. This isn't just about stocks. This is just about the whole market. There's not gonna to be too much that's gonna escape things. And I'm slightly concerned potentially with the lithium because I do have a lot of money in Coda and I do have a lot of money in Prem and I'm just looking at it going, hmm, what happens if this market really does pull back? Are these stocks likely to be still doing well? Um, it, it's unusual, but I just feel like there's such a big catalyst with both Coda and Prem that I'm nervous about taking any money out because I know as soon as I do, it's gonna skyrocket. Feel free to access the Facebook group for free. They stay up to date. We have Keith Nickel in here, who is a long-term bull, and he's put the main points from the financial interim report, which I recommend everyone going on to the Facebook group and getting up to date with. And he's done a nice summary here to cover before in the other videos. And again, share the link to my playlist where you can go in and watch all my Premier African Minerals videos to date. Um, plenty in there, very much up to date really, so there's not much more to say. We do have some members in the Discord joining the Premier African Minerals dream, like John's jumped in. So I'm hoping that it's going to be good for all of us here over the next 12 months. I did trim a bit on the recent rise about three, four weeks ago. A couple of position sizes just taken out, just, just to, to try and capitalize a bit, but I really don't want to take any money off the table. So let's just have a look at the day chart then. We can see here, it's been nice. It has been nice. It's been a nice steady earner. What I'm liking about 
uh, the charts right now is that we're, we're not going to bananas. We're building up nice support, nice levels. Um, and there's a decent bit of volume coming in. We can see people are buying in and around this level. It does tether off and it's gonna take a lot for us to properly break the 0.38 to 0.4 range. We've, t we've tipped over it, but we've been pulled back into this channel and we've pretty much been in this channel um, going back as far as February 22. So it won't be far off a year really of being in this channel, but we've mostly trended in the bottom end of it until recently. And we can see here from the lows of sort of the 9th of August, um, you know, the stock's climbed about 50%. I feel like it's bubbling up. I feel like there's news coming. We know about the, the studies that are to come. It's all in the other videos with the catalysts that are likely to come out over the next sort of six months. Clearly, we could be well into this channel, if not above this channel, and that would bring sort of in and around these levels that would bring us up around about another 25%. And I think I'm being very reserved. What I'm being reserved about is I just don't know how the general market will affect this. And that will apply to Kodal. Kodal Minerals, we had the last video, which was the update on prices. And that video was done on the 15th of June. So it's almost four months ago, which is just crazy that it's been that long. And again, that's not that I forgot about Kodal or it's not on my radar. I am pretty much my biggest position now is Kodal Minerals in my whole portfolio. So if that doesn't say how bullish I am, I don't know what will. There is a Facebook group that you can join as well which is free obviously my, my thoughts are in that with other people good guy call plenty of insight get in and have a look at that but again if you want to maybe get a bit more insight of what i'm saying or what the general people that are invested in code on minerals because there's a lot of us in here to talk about on the regular feel free again to get access to the discord the links are down below so you can see here on the code i'll dream um, i actually bought on the 23rd of september so still being bullish part of the reason why i haven't done so many videos up till now as well is the fact that there really hasn't been much news very very quiet in the codal mineral front they've obviously been working hard in the background there was the update that came out then on the 29th again here's the details here pause the video if you want to read it um and you can see my highlights here that i'm saying you know there's a 12 months construction time so it's going to be a long period again part of my nervousness if you want to say that is it is my biggest holding probably not a lot that's going to happen um, over the next 12 months we did have the agm that came out which threw a bit more meat on the bones the takeaway for me from the rns and sort of the agm was to go into construction we know about bernie we've covered it many times he wants to hold a resource it's in his interest he gets paid in shares he wants to hold it for as long because he knows the value of this thing and he knows that the more he can get it down the road the more he can start producing the more money ultimately the company is going to be worth the market cap's going to be bigger he gets paid more it's a no-brainer However, how do we fund that? We don't want dilution. We don't want more shares issued. And Bernie's kind of in a roundabout way provided us with that comfort. He said, oh, discussions are ongoing with a big backer. So is it going to be a Chinese company that's going to come in? Is it going to be a different company? Is it going to be a big bank? We don't know where the funding's going to come from, but it is needed to be able to do everything that, well, Bernie's hoping to achieve. And he did sort of state that's going to be about in around sort of 60 million, 65 million dollars. Uh, so it's a substantial amount to change. Where's he gonna get that? We'll have to fingers crossed. The original plans that we had took forever. And it was actually, I think Colin in the Facebook group sort of made that point as well. Um, that could take a long time. So like it's a 12 month construction time. I think that time is, a, is suffice, but who's to say that in six months time, we're still just sitting here with the same sign of news. So for me, looking at the charts, and this is from a trading perspective, obviously. We have had a lovely, and I mean a lovely rise from the lows to the highs. But I suppose if I'm looking at this chart, I'm going, look, plenty of volume came in around this day when the news broke. But I'm looking at this here at a high level and going, hmm, are we potentially falling out of a channel here? And is this potentially going to drop? Now, do we see it falling below these levels? It comes back to what I was saying earlier in the video. Is the market going to be able to pull this down? or is the news sufficient enough? I imagine tomorrow a deal was done. This is going to skyrocket. So that's the dilemma I have. It's my biggest holding, and it is a penny stock. I am confident that they're gonna be able to deliver this. I think Bernie is too far down the road. He's too shrewd of a man. He's not gonna just, oh, we've went boss, we're not able to do this, sell off. You know, that's worst case scenario. I don't think that's gonna happen. I think we're in a good financial position. We need more money, yes, to be able to do what we wanna do. So I think, a big backer is going to come in. I just hope that it's not to the point where we're desperate and we don't get the best deal possible. We'll see the planning permission permits and all that. That could drag on. It is, again, in the interest of Mali. They said they're open for business. We, we, you know, we did the video about a year ago where they're like, we're open for business, we're ready for this. Don't forget about all the conflict was there. They're saying, no, we're ready for business. Why be negative about it? If the general market conditions weren't here, I wouldn't have any doubts. 
but because of the general market conditions i am a bit nervous i wouldn't be surprised if we've seen the stock fall into a minimum of sort of an over 13 percent drop which would be horrendous for me in terms of uh, my position size if we were to somehow get up and get going i wouldn't be averse to potentially trimming some profits off the table more so just to ma manage my risk it's nothing to do with code out but it's to manage my risk and like i said that timeline of 12 months that's a long time potentially for your money to sit there and do nothing so i have a decision to make i am no way saying that i'm not bullish on code out. i'm very much am bullish on code out, but i'm also trying to manage my own expectations and to do what's best for my money i'm really nervous about the market as i shared in yesterday's video go and check that out there is a lot of pain to come um, and I just hope that Kodal and Prem don't get tied up in that. But just to finish on a positive note, I suppose what we're looking for here is the likes of the RSI to push on. We are looking to get above our moving averages. If those things can change and we get a bit of excitement, it could potentially go on a bit of a rally. And again, any big news that comes out, the thing's going to pop. It doesn't take much to pop this. So that's the updates. I appreciate very, very high level. All the details are in the Discord if you're interested in getting in the buy and sell alerts, what I'm going to do. I'll try to bring in for these videos maybe on a monthly basis, just combine the two things because I think there's a lot of lithium news out there that's important. So that's the video. Catch you in the next one. Hope you're liking the new sort of layout. Um, leave your comments down below if you do. And if you're interested in the trading course, this is it here. Go on to Teachable. Like I said, I've been featured in all these articles now. The word's getting about. Not one person has had anything bad to say about the trading course. It is reasonable, it's 99 pound. I'm looking to obviously make a few pound, but I am not trying to rip anybody off. I want as many people to learn how to do this and make money today. And also check out my week ahead videos because I do talk about Cordell, I do talk about Prem, I do talk about a lot of my long term whole plays. I'm just naturally within them, mostly about charts and any big news that comes out. So again, if you're looking for a sort of a regular update, that's also worth checking out every single Sunday. And if you're interested in another video to watch, I check out this one. This is about 1972, the worst stock market crash of all time. Over the last year, I've done a lot of due diligence into understanding the different types of stock markets. And in my week ahead videos, I try to always bring you up to date with the current market situation. So the first half of this video is all about that. I think it's worthwhile checking that out. Catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.